Hello everyone, welcome once again to Fun Time Zone FTZ TV. In this video, we are gonna see top 10 must watch paranormal horror movies. So, let's get started. I am you. <laughs> Before going any further, if you like the videos that we upload, then please like, share, comment and do subscribe and click that bell icon so that you remain updated. Remember, your single click to that red subscribe button keeps us motivated to upload more and more videos and keep you entertained. Thank you and keep watching. In number 10, we have The Devil's Advocate. An exceptionally adept Florida lawyer is offered a job at a high-end New York City law firm with a high-end boss, the biggest opportunity of his career to date. Kevin Womax, a ruthless young Florida attorney that never lost a case, is recruited by the most powerful law firm in the world. In spite of his mother's disagreement, which compares New York City to Babylon. He accepts the offer and the money that comes along, but soon his wife starts feeling homesick as she witnesses devilish apparitions. However, Kevin is sinking in his new cases and pays less and less attention to his wife. His boss and mentor, John Milton, seems to always know how to overcome every problem. And that just freaks Kevin right off. The opposite of Michael Myers in almost every way. Freddy Krueger is chatty and expressive. Yes, in number 9, we have Nightmare on Elm Street. As the sequels go on, he gets more and more ridiculous. But in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, he was appropriately menacing with a burn visage. Based on cheese pizza, the child molester and murderer set free due to a technicality, was killed by the mob justice of local parents. But when the undead Freddy reaches the children through dreams, continuing his rampage under cover of dark, the joke is on them. In number 8, we have the Blair Witch Project. A group of clever young filmmakers roll the dice on a style of filmmaking that very few people had dabbled in. Crafted their own freaky mythology, delivered a powerful collection of scares and became a viral sensation. Well, before anyone used the phrase, viral sensation. Some see an aimless collection of footage about three naive filmmakers who get lost in the woods. Others see a masterfully suspenseful minimalist thriller that delivers a unique set of scares. Five friends head to a remote cabin where the discovery of a book of the dead leads them to unwittingly summon up demons living in the nearby woods. Yes, in number 7 we have The Evil Dead released in the year 2013. The demon 
possesses the youngster in succession until only one is left intact to fight for survival. A lawyer takes on a negligent homicide case involving a priest who performed an exorcism on a young girl. In number 6, we have the exorcism of Emily Rose. When a younger girl called Emily Rose dies, everyone puts blame on the exorcism which was performed on her by Father Moore prior to her death. The priest is arrested on suspicion of murder. The trial begins with lawyer Aaron Brunner representing Moore, but it is not going to be easy as no one wants to believe what Father Moore says is true. I'll command you. Tell me your name. I want to make you put sick. Here, therefore, and here, Satan, enemy of the faith. Give me your name, demon. <laughs> A journalist must investigate a mysterious videotape which seems to cause the death of anyone one week to the day after they view it. In number 5, we have The Ring. Rachel Keller is a journalist investigating a videotape that may have killed four teenagers, including her niece. There is an urban legend about this tape. The viewer will die seven days after watching it. If the legend is correct, Rachel will have to run against time to save her sons and her own life. In number 4, we have The Conjuring. Paranormal investigators Ed and Lauren Warren work to help a family terrorized by a dark presence in their farmhouse. In number 3, we have The Exorcist. The original, unquestionable, undisputed, great grandpappy of horror and one hell of a brutally good time. William Fredkin's The Exorcist is not just one of the scariest films ever made, it's also one of the most well-constructed horror movies of all time. The story of demon inhabited Reagan, her distraught mother and the two priests working their religious mojo to save her life holds up to repeat viewings. In number 2, we have The Shining. Stephen King may not be a huge fan of Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of The Shining, but movie fans sure do seem to be. This tale of a family stuck in a snowbound hotel all alone features some of the most terrifying sequences ever, but it's probably Jack Nicholson's gloriously unhinged performance that movie buffs remembers the most. Well, Nicholson and those freaky twin girls and that hedge maze and that bleeding elevator and also that woman in the shower. And ever. Well, 
बिफोर गोइंग टू नंबर वन वी हैव अ स्पेशल मैंशन तो दोस्तों जो आज की स्पेशल मैंशन है वो एक बॉलीवुड की मूवी है खिलौना बना खलनायक लिटरली अगर कहूँ तो बचपन में इस पिक्चर ने मेरी फाड़ के रख दी थी सच कह रहा हूँ दोस्तों होप कि आपने भी ये मूवी ज़रूर देखी होगी और आपकी क्या यादें हैं इस पिक्चर के साथ कमेंट सेक्शन में ज़रूर बताइएगा इन नंबर वन वी हैव हेरिडिटरी अ ग्रीविंग फैमिली इज हॉन्टेड बाय ट्रैजिक एंड डिस्टर्बिंग ऑकरेंसेस When her mentally ill mother passes away, a woman named Annie and her husband, son, and daughter all mourn her loss. The family turn to different means to handle their grief, including Annie and her daughter, both flirting with the supernatural. They each begin to have disturbing, otherworldly experiences linked to the sinister secrets and emotional trauma. that have been passed through the generations of their family and it's all guys hope you like the video and if you liked it then please do like comment share and subscribe to this channel thank you guys I can see